Hey guys, Seventh here. This is live, off the cuff, unedited, uncut. We're going to take a look at the demo for Final Fantasy XV. Now you may be asking, where did I get this? Well, with my Patreon money for this month, I bought Final Fantasy Type-0. And if you got the Day 1 edition, it did indeed come with this demo, and currently it's the only way to get it. So far, I played it about 20 minutes before starting this recording, and I'm not impressed. I mean, look at the way he runs. Even when he runs slow, the animation is just weird. Uh-oh, we got some bad guys here. Okay, these are like these saber tooth things. Now, you'll notice how I zoomed in on him like that. What you can do is hold down the right trigger, the R1, to lock on to a bad guy, and then you can hit X, and he, as long as you have enough magic power, you'll zoom right to where they're at. Then you've got regular attacks with your square button, and then you've got magical attacks with your triangle button. Now, I haven't gotten to the point where I can summon anything yet, although I have read that it does have summons later in the game. But uh, this game is... It takes place somehow in the Final Fantasy 13 universe. I haven't seen any connections so far, although it does have these big open areas, kind of like the Grand Pulse area from the original Final Fantasy 13. Uh, so far, the frame rate is... Uh, it looks like it's made to be 30 frames per second, but with the map being as big as it is, it kind of struggles to keep up with that, especially with the animations. It's, the, the backgrounds, the, the environment and everything seems to move alright, but the characters themselves, it seems like sometimes the characters are running on a different frame rate from everything else. It's kind of weird. I see the animations from them stutter quite a bit when the actual backgrounds are fine. Now, we got rid of those bad guys. I am hunting this creature called Dead Eye. And I had to run around and look for clues where he had left blood trails and slash marks and, and stones and all this stuff. And I noticed while I was looking for him, I came across several buildings that looked like little outposts, you know, little uh, cabins and whatnot. And you couldn't go in them. And that says a lot to me because, I mean, you know, I just, I'm still finishing up on Dragon Quest Inquisition. And when you run into a cabin in Dragon Quest, not Dragon Quest, Dragon Age, sorry, I'm stuck on JRPGs. With Dragon Age Inquisition, you find a cabin, and you can go in that cabin and look around. Okay, hold on a second. Whoa. Now, one thing I've noticed is the, the lock-on doesn't always tend to work too well, depending on how fast the characters are. The combat is almost like... It's almost like Kingdom Hearts, which doesn't surprise me because of who the director of the game is. The same guy that did the Kingdom Hearts game. But so far, there's less aerial combos and whatnot. Oh, come on, guys. And you have a ma you have like a an action meter that everything you do draws from it. So if you're attacking, it draws from that. If you use magic, if you do your little warp ability. All of it pulls away from that, and if you happen to run out of magic, you'll get tired and have to crouch like that and wait for your magic to come back. I'm assuming there's an item that can also rapidly replete it, but otherwise you just have to wait. Now you'll notice I kept looking up at that tower. You have the ability to actually sword warp up onto tall objects like that, and once you're up there... It'll instantly heal your and uh, heal your magic power, and then you can look down at an enemy, and uh, you can highlight them with your R1 to lock on, and then you hit your X button, and you'll zoom in for a quick sword attack that does a lot of damage. Uh-oh, what do we have here? Let's see what's going on in here. Uh-oh. I think we may have found him, folks. I think we may have found... The dreaded dead eye. Let's see, shall we? Let's sneak in. Shh, shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. Don't fart. Thank you. Okay. I can hear him. I hear snorts. Be very quiet. 
I'm hunting dead eye. Oh shit. Oh my. That is a big monster with a missing eye and a missing horn. Wow. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should just go back and hunt more of the little things instead. Well, no, I guess we're we're moving forward with this. Me and the black leather crew. I tell you, I don't like the designs of these characters. You know, I myself wear mostly black, but when you have four characters that are all wearing black clothes, it's kind of monotonous. You know, I hope you have the ability to change the outfits around later on in the game because I, str I struggle with being able to tell one from the other besides one's got tattoos and big and muscular, the other one looks like your typical goth kid, one looks like an emo, and the other one looks like a douchebag. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not loving the character designs thus far. And I noticed so, so far there have been no female characters aside from one uh, mentioning a, a Sydney or a Cindy who was going to fix their car. And I had read that Sid was going to be a female in this game. So I'm assuming that's who it is, that they've turned Sid into Cindy. So, yay? Okay, so we're out. And spiky hair prevails once more. Now, another interesting thing is when you look in the menu system, I'm not going to pull it up right now, but when you look at the menu system and you go on the weapons, you have different weapons that you're carrying with you, and you assign all the weapons to a different slot, and so depend and that changes what kind of combos you're doing. So when you're watching me fight, this uh, character has the ability to spawn weapons via magic, and so you'll see him using different weapons depending on the strike. Like, for example, he started with a sword, and then he ends with a, with a, uh, a spear there. Now, this isn't the only type of enemy that I've encountered out here so far. I also ran into this giant hippo-looking thing, and I felt bad about that one a little bit because I, I killed, you know, a mama, a daddy, and, and a baby hippo monster. So that, you know, I'm, I'm a horrible human being, to be sure. Now, come on. Now, one thing that's interesting is you will not see yourself level up in this game during a fight. You just gather EXP, gather EXP, gather EXP. None of the leveling happens until you decide to go to camp. And this game has a day and night cycle. So, it seems like the days last maybe 45 minutes. And then you'll hear one... Oh, that was not... That's not good. I had some glitch in there. Some failed Havoc's physics, perhaps. But uh, you'll hear one of the characters say that you've got to go to camp, that it's getting dark or whatever. So you go on your map and you look for a place to camp. And when you camp, you have it'll show you a picture of a plate of food. And apparently you can unlock different recipes that when you eat and then sleep, what recipe you choose gives you different perks that last all day the next day, like gain more experience or have more health on your life bar, etc., etc. And after you eat and you're sitting around the campfire, all of the experience you earned over the course of the previous day zips through your experience meter at once, and then you level up then. So none of this, you know, leveling up in a ba during a battle and hoping that any of it helps you. Now you see there, I just warped up in that tree. And look at there, there is one of the enemies just sitting there in the tree. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just hanging out. No, you're not. Ah. Well, that didn't help, did it? All right, let's get over here. There's still one. There we go. Ah, come on, the lock button ain't working again. There we go. Oh, and I ran out of magic. Now, there's also a defend. You've got attack and defense. All I've been doing is attacking. I haven't even been using defend. Defend you do by holding down the left trigger. And basically, if while you're holding that down, any attack that happens towards you, you'll uh, either you'll dodge it 
or if they've got these little orange ellipses over their head, you'll parry it, and then you can press square to counter their attack. But the thing you have to keep track of is while you're holding down that left trigger defend button, that's draining your MP too. So you have to be kind of wary of it. So I tell you the vibe that I'm getting from this so far is it's kind of a mix of, of course, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and Monster Hunter. Okay, here's a fence. All right. Well, the... There's not a jump button, I don't think. Or at least if there is one, I haven't found it yet. And am I supposed to be watching this thing? There's no trigger point telling me to jump. How do I get over this thing? Come on. Oh, there we go. So I guess it was kind of a push-forward Assassin's Creed type thing. Yay. Okay, so there it is. Ah, this reminds me of Stephen King's The Mist. Okay, I have to follow him home. And he can't see me. Yeah, I have to follow him, and I can't be seen. So it looks like I'm going to have to just stay close enough to him to where I don't lose track of him. Yeah, and I've got to hide behind rocks. Okay. Oh no, he's sensed me. Now you see that little red bar that appeared up at the top of the screen? Whenever some enemies detect you and they decide that they're going to attack, that red bar will appear. And you can either fight whatever comes along or you can run away and hope to hide. Now you can hold down the left, tri um, the left uh, analog stick and that will make you run. But you can only run for a certain amount of time. And then you get tired and you start breathing heavy and you have to stop and catch your breath. and Yeah. I have to tell you, there was some slightly homoerotic shit going on at the beginning of this. When you first uh, load it up, you're all asleep together in one tent. And everybody, pretty much except this this nerd right here, the, the more emo looking dude. The, well, emo, gothy, whatever you choose. He's the only one that's fully clothed, and the rest of them are like with buttons, un uh, shirts unbuttoned, or shirt completely off, and the uh, cell phone is ringing and it wakes them up, and everyone's just kind of looking at each other, lying there in poses, and all this. And the more I saw, the more I think that this was perhaps designed in the hopes of bringing the female otaku gamers into the fold to get them interested in Final Fantasy because so far it's a real sausage fest folks okay well he hasn't seen me yet he has sensed me a couple of times but oh he's trying to be clever okay well I'll just keep sneaking around this rock so you don't see me you big fuck okay uh oh I think I'm getting I better get up close to him soon. Or I'm going to lose him. Yeah. That's... Okay, I get the point. There we go. As long as I can see his tail, I'm good. Oh, he sensed me again. Oh, I can't tell you how riveting this is, folks. Just riveting, riveting gameplay. Ugh. I hate this forced stealth shit. Come on. When's this guy gonna get to his home already? Okay. I think we're getting close to the end of this. Or at least I hope we are. Okay. Oh, this is some tedious shit. Oh, finally. Okay. So, giant fugly cat has jumped into his hidey hole. Great. Super. Wonderful. Let's get this over with. Alright. 
Ah, some Uncharted goal, uh, God of War style slipping through the cracks gameplay. Lovely, lovely. Okay. We are sliding through. We are sliding through. And we're in. Hey, who's that guy? What the fuck? All in a day's work. How the fuck did they all beat me here? So I had to sneak and follow behind the thing, and they just ran straight to where it was like they knew, what the fuck is up with that shit? That doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Jesus Christ. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really not overly nice impressed way. with these graphics so far. It's just not doing it for me. I mean, when, when I first watched the opening scene, at first I was like, wow, these, these cutscenes aren't any better than the cutscenes in Final Fantasy XIII were. And then I realized that, yes, it was a cutscene, but it was being rendered in-engine. And I was like, oh, okay. So it is, they finally achieved their goal, more or less, of gameplay that looks like their cutscenes. Only the animation is not as smooth, of course, as what you'd see in the cutscenes. But as far as the way the characters look, it's pretty much what you'd see in cutscenes from, say, Final Fantasy XIII. But overall, the graphics are kind of bland, and they're, it's kind of lifeless compared to something like Dragon Age Inquisition or Heaven Help Them, Witcher 3. It's just worlds beyond this. Uh, to me, this doesn't really look anywhere near as close to what the demo footage they showed a while back looked like. It's, I don't know if you would call it a downgrade, but it definitely doesn't look as good as what footage was shown, what, a couple months ago? Okay, so I'm following this guy around, and he's telling everybody what to do, so. Oh, I see him up on the hill there. Yep, yep, he's sleeping. Taking a giant fugly cat nap. Okay, so I have to wake him up and then lure him over to them. Well, that's just great. I'm supposed to be the fucking prince. I'm some kind of royalty, but I'm the bait. What the fucking kind of sense does that make? Alright, come on with your big rain galoshes. Let's get over there. Well, apparently, I'm too far away to warp to him. Let's... Okay, that's eventually where I want to warp once I get him close enough, so. And there's another point I can warp to. Well, let's just run up until I can lock on him, I guess. I foresee this going well. This is going to go great. Hey there, asshole. Follow me. Oh, what the fuck is up with the camera? It's like half... Ah, shit. Oh, it's because I'm locked on to him. God damn it. Come on, unlock. Thank you. Alright, so now I gotta... No! I'm not unlocked. Shit! Ugh. Come on. Oh, he stomped me. Okay, I'm up here. Oh, it's working great so far. Oh, he's on fire! Now I strike the killing blow. Now? Now. There we go. Wow, was that it? Is this what the boss fights are going to be like? Really? That was fucking lame. It was like a, just a big quick time event. Wait. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Pansy effeminate male gets knocked senseless. News at 11. Oh shit. Oh, uh, Fugly Cat is mad. Okay, he's weak in his left eye because he's blind there, and I'm supposed to exploit that, but he moves too fast for me to get in position, and now I'm hurt. I need health. Time to take a potion. All 
right, now let me get up here and see if I'm safer up here. Nope, I'm not. Shit. All right, let me try up here. I'm trying to lure him to where I can do that sword move because it does a shit ton of damage. Come on. He doesn't even have a life bar. You can't tell how much damage he's doing to him. I guess you probably, like the other games, you probably earn that eventually, but... Well, this ain't doing nothing. Oh, did it now. What do you think it did with mine? There. Well, instead of warping the attack on him, he just warped the other side. I was trying to do that warp attack. What the fuck? Try it again. I lock on. Ah, it just dropped me off. This is not going well. Ugh. He just sliced the fuck out of my back. Run, run, run. Let's try to go over here. Let's do it here. Cut and run? Why the hell did we come out here if we're just going to leave? Finally, I scored an attack on him. Where'd he go? He jumped over the wall. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Now he's back and he's coming towards me. Ah, oh, he blocked. Oh, God. He munched me. Oh, no. Oh, I can't run fast because I'm hurt. It's potion time. Oh. Oh, this is not going how I wanted it to go at all. Let's go over here. Come on, camera. Work with me. It keeps... Oh. It keeps tagging him when I haven't hit the tag button. What the fuck is up with that? Oh, come on with the camera. You're killing me. Oh, shit. You can't go this way either. Oh, I'm struggling. Look, my arm is lifeless. I'm limping along. Stay away, cat. Oh. Oh, you see those sparklies? If you run out of life, those sparklies keep you from dying. It said something about how the stars will revive him. Well, what the fuck's up with that shit? In other words, it's nearly impossible to die as long as you have some health potions and the stars are on your side, I guess. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, oh, no. Oh, good. Boy, the frame rate went to shit there, didn't it? All right, fuck this shit. Okay, let's save the game then. We have to find camp. Great. Let's go find camp then. Fuck this shit. Let's roll. Time to meet the let's, who the fuck do you think you are, Batman? Jesus Christ, the dialogue in this is killing me. Oh, there it is. Up on that giant rock. Of course it would be. Knock, over here. Yeah. Now, this guy's name is Noctis, and everyone calls him Knock. Yeah. Yay. Alright, let's find a way up this rock. Here we go. Okay. Now you're going to get to see what happens when you camp. Uh, by all means, let's take a rest. Watch this shit. This is hilarious. Or at least I think it is. You got this lounge club music playing, right? Sounds like music you'd try to pick up easy women at at a bar. Oh, we're gonna have eggs and on toast, I guess. Munch, munch, munch. Now watch. All the experience I gained from getting my ass kicked. I leveled up. Hurrah! Now I'm ready for more. Dun 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 dun. Well, at least it has something from older Final Fantasies in it. Anyway, I think I'm done for the day, folks. Like I said, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Monster Hunter mixed. If that's your thing, go for it. This is 7th. 